bigotry trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's bigotry trivia time. And we'll feel it all out. Hello, happy Thursday, everybody. It is Thursday this time. Welcome to a special Thursday night edition of General Knowledge Trivia. My name is Ollie with Vega Tricks Entertainment, and tonight we are celebrating Gina's birthday. Uh, I was going to load in sound effects and I forgot. So. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Our neighbor somewhere down the street is shooting off fireworks, which normally would be really annoying on a Thursday night uh, at the end of July, but we just decided that they're celebrating your birthday, right? Sure. Yeah, sure. fireworks for your birthday. Uh, so thank you all for being here. If this is your first time playing, do know you need to join the online game. Here on YouTube, you will hear and see me ask the questions, but you won't be able to answer. You need to join the online game for that. It's very simple. Just open up any internet browser, go to online.vegatricks.com and enter in the code TRICKS3. Tonight your code is TRICKS3, that is T-R-I-C-K-S-3. Once you do that, you'll see this screen that's going to ask you for two pieces of information. It wants your team name or whatever name you want to go by tonight and then the state that you're playing from if you're in the USA. If you're not, feel free to let us know what country you're playing from. Hit go and you're all set. There's nothing else you need to do. Uh, nothing else you need to do. Once you see this screen, you're all set. The game will start here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, once I go over how it works, um, thank you all for being here once again. So again, once you see this screen, you're good. Let me close that up. Pop back over here. All right, we're going to have some fun tonight. These are general knowledge questions with a twist. Every single question tonight comes from categories that were chosen by the birthday girl herself, Gina. You like um, so even if these categories may not be your uh, top categories or the things that you know the most, abar uh, most about, don't fret. Uh, because I tried to make this as approachable as possible for anybody that's playing. A lot of fun categories tonight. Whiskey and wine, women of music, baby animals, pop punk and emo music, Grace and Frankie the show, Frida Kahlo, flowers, uh, French culture and language, 90s Nickelodeon shows, Robin Williams movies, adult swim shows, dogs, fairy tales, 1920s Paris, yoga, cats, 50s, 60s Hollywood, Bob's Burgers, Sound of Music slash Mary Poppins, Audrey Hepburn movies, and the TV show, new girl so lots of categories i had to choose from uh i think i i covered almost all of them so we're gonna have some fun um i'll tell you exactly how the game works here in just a minute but before we do you may see surrounding me here on the screen this way uh bellaraca skincare has sponsored tonight's game in honor of gina's birthday so uh the winner tonight the person who finishes in first place without cheating will win a 25 dollar gift card good towards a facial <laughs> Um, a regular price facial there at Bellaraca or a $25 gift card, which will give you $25 off any $50 worth of products. Um, so basically a 50% off coupon um, or gift card, if you will, for fantastic skincare products. I've used them personally, um, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. They are the best. Uh, it's under this hair here. Um, <laughs> so thank you, thank you so much, Laura, for helping us celebrate Gina's birthday by uh, you know rewarding somebody else out there. Um, so if you finish in first place tonight, you'll win that uh, gift card to Bellaraca Skincare. It's right here in good old, that's Glen Ellen, right? Lombard. Lombard. I always forget. Unincorporated. Lombard, Illinois. Um, so thank you all for joining us. If you finish in first place, you'll win that. We'll get you all hooked up. Um, but again, since we're playing for a real prize tonight, and even when we're not, don't cheat, my friends. Um, mm -hmm. Don't Google. Don't search for answers. Just despicable. Don't do that. Um, we're here playing for fun. We're not charging you anything to play this game. You're here for free. But if you would like to donate or tip online, these links are down below right here. Venmo, PayPal, and Zelle. I already saw two come through. Thank you, Misha, once again. And thank you, Bernadette, so much for those donations. Um, this week, like many weeks past, if you donate, you may be chosen as our donation drawing winner. And you'll get to choose the categories for next week's trivia, just like Gina did for tonight. Um, so Bernadette, you're in. Misha, you're in again to that drawing. Thank you so much to everybody that donates, no matter how big or small. We really appreciate it. That's what funds these online events. Because, um, again, 
we want to keep these free. We're not looking at charge to do these. We really appreciate having as many people here as possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that donates. Um, speaking of donating, we do have one more event this weekend. Friday night, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock is the game you don't want to miss. It starts at 7 p.m. It's going to go all the way till 8.30, so it's a 90-minute game. And we are doing that to benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Uh, we'll have great prizes for the trivia winners, and there's a whole bunch of fantastic raffle prizes. Um, you can ch I've been posting those there in the Facebook event. There's a, uh, a Yeti cooler. It's pretty fantastic. Um, there's some Leinen Kugel merchandise. There's a Heineken gift bag. There's a Miller Lite pool set. There's all sorts of fun stuff. Um, so check it out. Those raffle tickets are only three bucks a piece. You can get you know discounts as you purchase more and more. And every single cent goes directly to the Leukemia and Lymphoma, Lymphoma Society through Justin's 99 Red Balloons, organized by my very, very, very good friend, Pat Fitzgerald. So thank you so much to everybody that's already donated directly to uh, LLS or bought raffle tickets. Tomorrow night's event will be free to join. We'll just be asking for a $10 donation. Nobody's getting kicked out if you don't donate. It's completely up to you. You don't have to purchase a ticket ahead of time. We're gonna launch it online just like we did with tonight's event. You'll be able to join. And then instead of seeing my links down here tomorrow night, you'll see the links to donate to LLS. So please join us. We're gonna have a lot of fun tonight and tomorrow. Um, so with all of that said, I'll pop up here. Let me remind you one more time. You need to join the online game online.vegatrix.com code tricks three thank you kevin thank you kevin so much for the donation happy birthday gina it says Aww, thank you kevin great. appreciate you thank man you. all right so once again once you've joined that online game you're set i'll be starting the game here in just a second before i do i'll tell you about how it works and first we'll take a look at taco because why not what a boy uh, so the game tonight is a mixture of multiple choice questions and text questions, which means you'll have to type in the answer all on your own. So we'll switch back and forth. We're going to start with multiple choice questions, and then we will move into the text questions. Overall, the questions start out pretty easy and get tougher as the game goes on, um, but that's not going to hold true for every single question. Some might be easy later on, and we might have some tough ones here at the beginning. The multiple choice questions, how it works, I'll ask you the question, I'll start your timer, which is a 30 second timer. Every single question has a 30 second timer. As soon as the timer starts, you need to hit whatever you believe to be the correct answer. For multiple choice questions, it'll be either A, B, C, or D. One of those is always correct. The sooner you click your answer, the more points you earn if you're right. If you're wrong, you earn zero points, and if you accidentally click the wrong answer, you can't change it. So do be careful, make sure you click the correct answer, but do it as quickly as you can to earn as many points as possible. Hey, thanks Rebecca for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, uh, if you're still not sure how the game works, that's okay because we're gonna do a practice question here, but this very first practice question is actually gonna teach you how the text questions work. So what it's going to do, I'm gonna show you the very first question and once I start the 30 second timer, you will need to type in your answer. There won't be multiple choice questions. You have to type in what you believe is the correct answer. If this was worth points, you'd earn them if you were correct. You'd earn zero if you were wrong, but this one's just for fun. This is just so you can see what the text questions will look like and honestly, so you can have a little fun here at the beginning of the game. Um, so cheers everybody, thanks for being here. Happy birthday, Gina. Thank you, cheers. I'm actually going to switch the practice question. Uh, one second. All right, here we go. Here's your practice question. Once again, you're just typing in what you believe to be the correct answer, but this is not worth any points. So no pressure here. This is just so you learn the system. Question number one. Oh Whose birthday is it today? <laughs> <laughs> Whose birthday is it today? Question number one, type that answer in. Tacos is on July 28th. Ninth. Ninth, July 29th. I celebrate early. <laughs> Maggie, you put in your raffle tickets today. Good, good, good. I saw a lot of raffle tickets went in today. I have some out there. Um, you know, maybe I, 
I always feel weird putting ra I like supporting uh, and I love winning things but I always feel weird when I put raffle tickets in because if I do win people get so mad uh, but Pat is organizing all that Begatrix doesn't handle the raffles uh, let's see what you said whose birthday is it today Gina Gina Ali Gina 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 oh, Juna God, Gina so my queen Gina uh, One Direction's 10th birthday and I guess <laughs> Gina Taco's favorite person, Gina. Taco's mom, Gina, Gina, Gina. Um, also, oh, Gina Marie. I'm guessing who said that. Um, also would have been correct if you said Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. Or Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson or Marlon Wayans. Uh, all of those would have been correct. So here's what it looks like if you're looking at the screen. Uh, when I mark answers correctly, they disappear from the screen. That means that you got points. Um, so you're just doing this, ba, 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 ba. Uh, and then 71% of you, 73% of you, 75% of you, it's going up, going up, going up. That many people would have gotten points. This wasn't worth points, so no worries. So that's what the text questions will be like here in just a little bit. But for now, we're going to do the first 10 questions as multiple choice. So I'll start the timer and you'll see four options pop up. Just click the one you think is correct. Here we go. Some of these easy, some of these tough. Question two, which of the following options is not the name of one of the Belcher children on Bob's Burgers, on the TV show Bob's Burgers? Which of the following options is not one of the children of Linda and Bob on Bob's Burgers? Is it Tina, Teddy, Louise, or Jean? Share a birthday with Walter Payton. Nice, Jeremy. I share a birthday with Macaulay Culkin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sarah, welcome back. You missed a few more um, Game of Thrones references in holiday movie trivia. We had Tyrion Lannister from Elf. Um, he was in there. And then shit just got crazy. All right. Here we go. Everybody in. Almost all of you got this. 84% of you said... Teddy, he is a main character, but he is not one of the children of Bob and Linda. That's a social cheers, everybody. All right, question three. I think this one's tough for the beginning of the game, uh, but let's see. Oh, never mind, not this one. On the TV show Rugrats, what tool is Tommy Pickles almost always carrying around with him, hidden somewhere in his diaper? On Rugrats, what tool is Tommy Pickles almost always carrying with him? Is it a hammer, a tape measure, a screwdriver, or a wrench? Uh, throwback to yesterday, Maggie. Yes, Carl Lewis. Happy birthday. Addison shares a birthday with Barack Obama. Yes, Addison wins. Good job. Uh, Amy Man shares a birthday with William Henry Harrison. Very nice. Doesn't everyone carry one of these? If they don't, they should, Chris. <laughs> In their diapers? Oh, uh, Aurora <laughs> says happy birthday, Gina. Oh, thank you, Aurora. I can't figure out the raffle tickets for tomorrow. Lindsay, shoot me a message. I'll help you out uh, after this. Ed Helms, you and Andy. Um, the correct answer here, he always has that screwdriver with him. We'll call social on that. Cheers, everybody. Mostly he's using it to open the latch on his gate. He's very good. Yeah, ew, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's true. Um, number four, I think this uh, might be the one I was thinking is a little tough. Yeah, here we go. But I think Gino really liked this one. Uh, number four, the lost generation is a term used to refer to a group of American expatriate writers living in Paris during the 1920s. Who is credited with having coined the phrase... So four individuals you probably recognize, but let's see if you can determine who credit who is credited with coining the phrase the lost generation. Was it Gertrude Stein, Ernest Hemingway, Henry Miller, or F. Scott Fitzgerald? Hey, Jess and John, welcome, welcome, welcome. Abigail shares a birthday with Halsey and Kevin Durant. Nice. Share a birthday with Pope John Paul II. Nice, Lisa. This is fun. I like seeing people's birthdays. Yeah, that's exciting. Birthday. I like learning about this. Yeah, I knew this question would be tough here at the beginning. They're not all going to be this tough, my friends. Don't worry. Uh, Misha shares a birthday with A.A. A. Mil uh, Milne and John Hughes. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is nice birthday to share. That's Winnie the Pooh, right? And uh, 
and John Hughes. Share mine with Sandra Bullock. Nice. Oh, Jeremy, I like that shirt. Uh, everybody's in. You guys were pretty split here. Between Gertrude Stein, Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, all famous authors. Excuse me, the correct answer here is Gertrude Stein. Gertrude Stein. So if you said Gertrude, you got points here. Uh, I believe all four of these individuals were part of the lost generation, um, but Gertrude Stein credited with coining that term. Uh, we'll do number five, and then we'll look at the standings for the first time. Number five. Which of the following films did the beautiful Audrey Hepburn not star in? Which of the following films did not star Audrey Hepburn? Was it Paris When It Sizzles, Rear Window, Funny Face, or Breakfast at Tiffany's? Post Malone and Danielle, nice. T-Pain and Fran Drescher, Jess, that's a nice one. Uh, Sarah and Brandon, Christiane's husband, both share a birthday. Congrats, happy birthday, twins. Oh, John Lennon, Kim. Ooh, Kim, John Lennon, Sharon Osbourne, nice. Jason Sudeikis, Lance Armstrong, wow, this is great. Uh, everybody's in. So, Funny Face, Breakfast at Tiffany is pretty popular. Audrey Hepburn movies. Paris When It Sizzles was also Audrey Hepburn. Um, Rear Window was Grace Kelly, right? Yeah. You should watch that too. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Rear Window. I've just seen uh, The Simpsons make fun of it. All right, that is question five. So, we'll take a look at the standings for the first time. First, second, and third place are going to be on top. Everybody else is going to rotate through. Uh, J-Mo in first. Wait, there's no Googling in second. And Team A-R-E in third. Everybody else rotating through. See where you're at. Uh, yes, there is no Googling. Raise a glass to Gina. Oh, I love that. Aww. That's a Have good one. Have those birthday party people. Oh, I like that. That's really cute. Hey, may I see your manager? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Jen Widener. I see you out there. Kevin Koch. Missy D. Husera. A lot of familiar names. I love it, guys. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Google research search results for? <laughs> ah, thanks for making me laugh. That, that made me pretty mad earlier. Gina got to deal with that. You're easy like, to deal with. What was that foghorn leghorn? He, like, steams James. up and the steam comes out of his ears. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow, what, what out, what out, what out? Come on, now. Jeff says the questions don't get harder, do they? That's what she said? Uh, no, it doesn't depends work. what you know. Uh, yeah, right? It depends on what you know. Uh, let's see what you think here. We're going to do the next five questions. The next six questions. These are all multiple choice. Baby animals is coming up next. The TV show New Girl takes place primarily in what U.S. city? New Girl takes place primarily in what U.S. city? Is it Los Angeles, San Diego, Chicago, or Seattle? Christiane, looking at you. Didn't you just finish this? Wait, there's no group. Oh, Chris and Lindsay. I like it. And Kelsey. I love it. <sighs> Skip the Oh, yeah. Gina told me about that. That's fair. I like Mega Fox. But if you were a. 13 year old 14 year old boy when transformers came out you like to make him talk uh the correct answer here is los angeles la nick miller is from the streets of chicago somebody always uses that name um but it is not chicago los angeles they have that beautiful loft that they somehow pay for uh question seven here's your baby animal a group of white-tailed deer is called a herd what is a baby white-tailed deer called? What do you call a baby white-tailed deer? Is it a kid, a fawn, a doe, or a foal? That's a cute gift. Oh my god, it's called a little angel face. Yeah, Maggie, you're right. Look how adorable. Amy, I love that team name. Raising a glass from a distance. Yeah, when Gina 
uh, said that she wanted, you know, a baby animals as a category, I was struggling with how to incorporate it. And I think I did okay here, especially because I got to use this GIF. And I think that's what this question, really this question is just here so you can look at that picture. Um, and you guys did well. So this was clearly a little bit easier. The correct answer here is fawn. Fawn, not doe, a doe, a deer, a female deer. A fawn is the correct answer. Cheers, everybody. 87% of you got that right. Uh, yes, Christiane, you and me singing the same thing. All right, here we go. Number eight. The word yoga, as we say it today, the word yoga is derived from a Sanskrit word meaning what? So yoga, when taken back to the Sanskrit word, means what? Is it union, love, peace, or meditation? More animals here. Some goat yoga. They're having goat yoga at the lodge in Lyle. Oh, nice. If I could do goat yoga, now we're talking. Yeah, I'm with you, Amy. Uh, all right, correct answer. Let's find out. You guys were evenly split. 15 people said union. 16 people said peace. 16 people said meditation. Everyone knows that yoga does not mean love. Um, the correct answer here is union. Union, taken back to the Sanskrit yoga, is a derivation of the Sanskrit word meaning love. Look at that gift. It's goat yoga. And yoga means union in Sanskrit. Now you know. Question nine. Cartoon Network's Adult Swim officially launched on September 2nd, 2001 at 10 p.m. with the debut airing of what show? What was, let's put it this way. What was the first show ever aired as part of Adult Swim, September 2nd, 2001 at 10 p.m.? Was it The Venture Bros? That should say Venture, I apologize. The Venture Bros, Space Ghost, Coast to Coast, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, or Home Movies? All great shows. Yes. I just want to hang with the goats without the yoga. Yeah, Karen, I think I'm more in for that. Yeah, I need to do goat yoga. No, you're good. You could just do taco yoga. Can I help you? Yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody's in, everybody's in, everybody's in. Uh, one of you said the Venture Bros. Four of you said home movies. 19 people said Space Ghost. 22 people said Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I need a sound effect for this. The first time that hardly anybody's gotten it correct, it is home movies. Home movies, uh, very, very popular cult classic uh, animated show that weird is. I mean, everything on Adult Swim is weird as shit. Uh, but Home Movies was the first oh, show aired as a part of Adult Swim, September 2nd, 2001, 10 p.m. Uh, number 10, wine. I, I don't know if you, let's see if you know this. Retsina, Retsina, is a traditional wine from which country? Retsina is a traditional wine from which country? Portugal, Greece, Italy, or Spain? Do you know this one? Oh, no, but it's not. Don't. I think you stumped me on this one. Well, earlier we were watching okay. um, Queer Eye, and there's an episode they were at a wine bar, and they were talking about making dinner, and um, the 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 person behind the counter is like, oh, well, what are you making for dinner? And he said, oh, we're doing, um, what was it? Butternut, uh, squash soup. butternut squash soup. And Gina goes, oh, a Chardonnay or a Viognier would be great. And the lady goes, uh, here, let's do a Viognier. Let's try it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> she knows her wine. Um, I know how to drink and make wine, but I don't know much beyond that. Uh, I'm a little bit better than Steve Brule here. <laughs> I don't even like wine. But Sweet guess what? Sweet berry wine. Sweet berry wine. Oh, I could watch Steve Brule all night. 
Uh, the correct answer here, 13 people said Portugal, 23 people said Greece, 7 people said Spain, 4 said Italy. Uh, the correct answer is Greece. Good job. Just about half of you got that right. Congratulations. Would that have been your guess? I was thinking Greece or Portugal. Yeah, I believe but... it. All right, one more multiple choice question. One more multiple choice question. Oh, Allison, you're right. We should have done a reverse social for the home movies question. Not too late. Yeah, just take a drink of that. Cheers. Yeah, Steve Brule is it. Check it out. Yeah. Steve Brule. Oh, if you haven't watched, I'll post something in the community later. All right, final multiple choice question. Frida Kahlo, you may have heard of her. Famously lived in a childhood home. She actually lived in this home her whole life, I believe. Uh, that was what color? It's now a Frida Kahlo museum. Um, Frida Kahlo famously lived in a childhood home that was what color? Blue, green, pink, or yellow? I apologize, I didn't, I didn't match those answers to the colors. Uh, blue, green, pink, or yellow? Answering by the word, not the color of the blank. Famous mustache is for a thousand. Crystal. Famous. Oh, nice. And Stephanie. Uh, Middleton lens. I never remember. Stephanie or Crystal. I don't remember which one is that screen name. Azul. Azul, yeah. Yes, Christiane. Uh, the correct answer here, I did change the color. Wow, once again, you split this three ways. Uh, 15 of you said blue, 15 of you said pink, 14 of you said yellow, two people said green. Uh, the correct answer here is the blue. Casa de Azul, uh, the blue house, uh, which is now the Frida Kahlo Museum. Um, but, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's take a look at the standings. Chatty Angelica bitches in first place. Cream trademarked in second. Google search results for in third. Everybody else rotating through. See where you're at. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading rainbow. I answered wrong for my guess because I got confused by the colors changing. Sorry, Lindsay. I was trying to help, and I messed everybody else. Uh, it's both. Oh, that makes sense. So it's both well, of you. Yeah, yeah like mostly that. Crystal though. Okay. Yeah. Just how? Listen, you, don't question it. You're answering quickly, I guess. Azul, azul. Yeah, it said. However, I say it when I'm drinking. <laughs> Sucre. Hmm. Speaking of. All right. Oh shit. No, we're good. Uh, so things are about to change. We will no longer have multiple choice questions, uh, multiple choice answers. From this point on, you have to type your answer in. So like we did earlier for the practice question, when I start your timer, you won't see options pop up. You'll see a text box. You have to type it in. Uh, other than that, you still have a 30 second timer. The other big difference is you no longer lose points as the timer decreases. So take your time. Just make sure your answer gets in before the timer hits zero and don't Google stuff, please. Be fair. Uh, tonight's game is sponsored by Bella Rocca Skincare. Life is beautiful, so keep it beautiful by playing honestly. Uh, here we go. These first five questions are a mini bonus round. Um, and this is a fun one. This is a fun one. This is a music related round, not playing any music. Um, we've done this type of round before, but never with these specific options, never with these questions. So, how this round is going to work, I am going to tell you the name of a famous singer and you just have to tell me the name of the band that they were the lead singer for i'm going to tell you the name uh -huh. of a singer you tell me the name of the band they were a singer for so if i said name the band from this lead singer eddie vetter the answer would be pearl jam that's not it tonight. That one is not a question. So here we go. Don't forget you're typing these in. No multiple choice questions. Uh, question 12. First one of the bonus round. Name the band by its lead singer. Which band had a lead singer named Gwen Stefani? Hey. Which band had a lead singer named Gwen Stefani? 
We watched. Such a cute gift. We watched 14 music videos by this band last night. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. A fellow Libra. Yeah, October 3rd. Oh, well, do you know my birthday? <laughs> you do not understand my level of obsession with her when I was younger. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh, yeah. You know your birthday. I know, sure. I'm just kidding. Misha, how's Maui? Yeah, I want to see more pictures. Uh, and do the, are the dogs getting along? Uh, everybody's in. Correct answer here is no doubt. Gwen Stefani would go on to much solo acclaim as well, um, but came up in no doubt. No doubt. All right, number 13. Name the band by its lead singer. Dolores O'Rourden. Dolores O'Rourden was the lead singer of which band? Your favorite. Yeah, one of my favorite. Yes, R.I.P. Much too young. Chills. Chills when she sings. What's Ooh. that called? The Keening. Yeah. It's, a, it's a singing a lament for the dead. Lamenting. For, ah, ah. That's what it sounds like. Do it again. Nope. <laughs> Only comes. Oh, Reardon. Thanks, Sarah. Oh, Reardon. I think your comments helped me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Chris. I might have helped you out there. I'm certain that my singing did not. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I love it. Uh, the Cardigans sounds like the correct answer, kind of. Uh, but it's not the Cardigans, it's the Cranberries. And almost 80% of you got that right, so cheers. O-Neaters, yeah. The O-Neaters. All right, here we go. Singing that comes. Number 14, name the band by its lead singer or one of its lead singers. Let me let me qualify here. This individual was a lead singer in what band? Grace Slick. Grace Slick. Some of these easy, some of these tough. Do you know this one? I thought you did. So if you haven't caught on by question three, this is our women in music round. All of these hey, lead singers are female. The next two will be female as well. Oh, my God. No, Duncan seems to be keeping his distance. Maui tried to mount him a couple times, and Duncan let him know. Yeah, you got it. Take your stance. Tell him no. Good night, Albin. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Albin. All right. <laughs> yeah, somebody hit across the board here. As long as you gave me something close, either one of these. Uh, correct, not easy, E. Correct answer is Jefferson Airplane, uh, Starship, anything Jefferson, pretty much, except for the Jeffersons. Um, question 15. Name the band by its lead singer. I believe she's gone on to solo stuff, but this individual was the lead singer of what band? Brittany Howard. Mm -hmm. Brittany Howard, lead singer of what band? <laughs> How the tables have turned, Misha. Becomes a <laughs> How the turntables turn 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 Alright, everybody's in. If you haven't listened to them, I highly suggest you do it. Uh, correct answer here is Alabama Shakes. Alabama Shakes. Fantastic. All right. There's only one of these left. Forgot to say this GIF is giving me life. Thanks, Maggie. Yeah, I Gina to that says, band. Yeah. Like that is a good GIF. Uh, Lisa, definitely check them out. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's not for everybody, just like any music. Um, but it's very chill, very great musicality and and Brittany Howard's her yeah her voice she got a range she got a range on her all right final one of these number 16 name the band by its lead singer Jenny Lewis Yay. of the wizard fame of the wizard if you've ever seen the movie the wizard with uh Fred Savage Jenny Lewis was in that little little child starlet ah Jess this is your shit yeah i love this yes guy. Oh, Christiane, we need some bigotrix masks. 
We do some bacon chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, if you enjoy The Wizard and you want to watch it, you haven't seen it in a while, it is on HBO Max. I just watched it three nights ago. Uh, I've been dying to see it. Uh, it is on HBO Max for free if you have HBO Max, obviously. Um, you know, it's as good as it ever was. Lots of good guesses. Lots of guess good guesses. Uh, but the correct answer is Rilo Kylie. Rilo Kylie. That was definitely the toughest one. Only five of you got it. Um, Sleater Kenny, Ting Ting, Saruka, so all great guesses. Florence and the Machine. She's another cool redhead. <laughs> Somebody said Jenny Lewis in the news. I like that answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, another cool redhead. Uh, okay. So that is the end of this round. Let's take a look at the standings. Chatty Angelica Bitches still in first. Team Cream in second. Google search results for in third. Steffi Star, what's up? In fourth place. Everybody, check out where you're at. We'll get into the next round action here in just a second. Uh, Chris, I'm not doing well. That's okay, my man. You still got plenty of time here. Kylo Rennie. <laughs> That's Ooh, that sounds like a Star Wars character, Kylo Renny. Oh, that is Kylo Ren. That's that's hilarious. You spent, you did not. It I just put like that together. Yeah, I just put that together. Yeah. Kylo Ren, Kylo Renny. Wait, what did I just figure out today? After being alive for thirty-two years. Oh, I just figured out. Let me put this back uh, from Taco. It's just, you guys can all laugh at me for a minute. Um, Gina and I were discussing something. I don't know how it came up, but. Um, Somehow I said f fruit. Oh, because we we pulled tomatoes out of the garden. Yes. And we I said, oh, we, we we grew these. This is the fruit, fruit of, of the garden. Yeah, it's the fruit of the garden. I and then fruit some of your labor, I think. the fruit of my labor is what she said. And I said, oh yeah, like fruit of the loom. And then it clicked that a loom doesn't produce vegetables. It produces clothes, and socks and underwear are fruit. Of the loom. I'm 32 years old. I finally figured out what fruit of the loom means. Um, but nobody had to tell me, so I'll take solace in that. I figured it out on my own. Uh, but Jesus, we all learn something new every day. Uh, anyway, that's a lot of me talking. So let's move on. The next question is coming up. Light bulb moaning. Y yes, yes, Danielle. The guitarist from Rilo Kylie was on Salute Your Shorts. It's good to know. All right, here we go. The next round, there are five questions. This is a picture round. What's the picture round? Aha, it's a picture round. I'm gonna show you a screenshot of a movie. You just have to tell me what movie it is. The key is, these are all Robin Williams movies. So I'm gonna show you a screenshot of a Robin, Robin Williams movies. Robin Williams movie. You just have to tell me what Robin Williams movie it is. Oh my gosh, you guys are making me feel so much better. Christiane didn't know, Sarah didn't know, Jeff didn't know. Okay, okay, okay. I you hard, so I guess I... Oh, did you see Maggie? Five side-by-side -side photos of Zac Efron and Chris Carava. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, my heart couldn't handle sure, that, to yeah. be fair. All right, here we go. Some of these easy, some of these tough. Just name the Robin Williams movie. Here is number 17, the first one. What movie is this? It's a Robin Williams movie. I love this round. You're doing a great job. Thank you. It took me 17 years to realize the USPS logo was an eagle. I thought it was someone aggressively opening a letter. <laughs> we are living in <sighs> Jeremy, get ready to riot. I don't think I put a flubber one in here. <laughs> All right, correct answer here is Jumanji. Jumanji. Question 18, name this Robin Williams movie. Chris Caraba, but like 2000s era, yeah. Yes, for sure, I agree. I will say he looks better. We saw him in February. He looks better in person than he photographs lately. Yeah. He comes off very Photoshopped. Every time he takes a photograph, I feel like it goes through a lot of editing touch-ups but uh in person he looks totally normal totally cool middleton uh, just realized robin williams looks homeless in a lot of movies yeah this might be the exception um but yes quite a few he does look homeless 
Oh, Maggie, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, correct answer. Everybody got this. If you got an answer in before time ran out, you got points here, which means we're going to drink. Patch Adams. Cheers, everybody. Good job. Good job. I guess the big red nose gave it away. Number 19. Name this Robin Williams movie. One of my favorites now that Gina introduced me to it. Oh. And I love Robin Williams, and I think he's the third best character in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Right? For sure. Yeah. I think he's great. I think he does a great job, but he, I would rank two people in this movie above him. Oh, uh, Chris, stop trivia. Turn off your computer. <laughs> It's streaming on something. I looked it up the other day. Go watch it. If you've never seen the whole thing, put your pinky down. <laughs> Martha Graham, Martha Graham. Martha Graham, Martha Graham. I don't wear shoes and I can fall down. Oh uh, this is not live action Aladdin porn. That, oh, that absolutely, I'm sure, exists. Uh, but this is the bird cage. The bird cage. Um, and I would say Nathaniel Lane and Hank Azaria, both as characters. Yeah. I, but Robin Williams still outshines Hank a million other people. Oh, yeah. Hank Azaria. Jesus. Cheers, everybody. 70% will oh, call. Oh, Lindsay. Lindsay, go watch, too. Yeah, we'll have a birdcage watching party. All right. Number 20. Name this Robin Williams film. What are we supposed to have a watch party for? Hamilton. Hamilton? Yeah, we need to do that. I'll get that on the calendar. Amy, wait, were you in Milwaukee? Because we were at that show at the Rave. Wait, the Rave? Yeah, Rave Eagles Tower. Yeah. Yeah, we were there. That was so crazy. Yes, Amy, we were at the same show. That's so weird. Ooh, crazy. That yeah. was like the last thing we did. Before. That was the last. That was yeah. the last show. We stayed at the um, oh, well, the hotel across the street, the super old hotel right across the street. That was fun. That's so exciting. See, Amy, we've already hung out. <laughs> we have. Uh, this we is a tricky. Yes. This is a tricky one, um, because this is the very end of the movie, and in this screenshot, he's only like 18 years old. This is Jack. This oh, is Jack. Oh yeah, gosh. graduating high school, but looking like an old man. Uh, number 21. This one, obviously, all of these, but this one's Regina. What is the name of this Robin Williams movie? Try not to cry. <laughs> Too late. Yes, the ambassador. We stared at the ambassador. Yes, 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 yes. That was a good show, Amy. That was a good show. Get Up Kids rocked it. Obviously, Dashboard rocked it. That was the show that I realized that Reggie was out of the Get Up Kids again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, or James. He's been in the Get Up Kids and Out so many times. All right, everybody's in. I think you guys are going to do well here. Yeah, you did. It's not Flubber. I'm sorry. Uh, this is Dead Poets Society. 93% of you. We'll take a big drink for that. Cheers, everybody. All right. Let's take a look at the standings. Team Cream is now in first by just 38 points over the chatty Angelica bitches. SF Curtis rocking and rolling at the top of the leaderboard for just a couple of events now. Great job, Stephanie. Third place right now and very close. Um, the following questions are uh, all just random about random stuff. And as, as we've been doing, you're going to earn all the points if you're right. You get nothing if you're wrong. Uh, Jen Widener, thank you so much. I had fun writing that one, but that was all yeah, Gina's ideas. Uh, Kelsey Davis doesn't like that, or it's a wonderful life. <laughs> You're not a horrible person. Don't worry. I want to know what your favorite movies are, though. What's your yeah, yeah. Kelsey, what are your favorite movies, then? Uh, you don't like those two. What do you like? Yeah. That's not how that sounded like. Christiane, I'm doing terribly. Oh, no, you, you're fine. But, yeah, sometimes the internet does suck. Uh, what was the first... Uh, Jumanji was the first one, Misha. Jumanji. Lindsay has disowned her sister. 
Uh, Sarah, yeah, I'm sh yeah, it's the internet for you too. Don't worry. Jeremy, I was wondering, but I didn't want to call you out <laughs> if you were the one who said flubber. <laughs> uh, Allison, you're in 44st, 41st again, but Jen Sterna and Bobby K aren't here. Um, so you can celebrate, but your 41st crew isn't here tonight. Uh, Allison entered flubber. No hook. Yeah. Um, much like holiday movie trivia is, there are far too many movies for me to choose from. I can't, I can't please everybody. I, I did five movies that I thought were good. So here we go. Question 22. Which actress stars alongside Jane Fonda as Francis Frankie Bergstein in Netflix's Grace and Frankie? Looking for first and last name. First and last name of the actress. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Abigail, I was like a click away from blocking because I thought you were a spam. I thought you were a bot that comes in. So did I. Oh, God. Jess, you and me both. I'm not drunk enough. I just went straight for the bottles here tonight. <laughs> it's just being re poured as I'm hosting. It's been a long night. Better check both sides of the road before you cross or you'll get hit. No, Lindsay, you didn't miss anything. We all missed something. Uh, Abigail, you're going to make me call you basic again. Amy. Amy just said it. Uh, she basic, yes. <laughs> nice, Amy. Uh, the correct answer is Lily Tomlin. Lily Tomlin. Oh, I love her. Lindsay, not on live chat. Oh, I love Lily Tomlin too. Question, ooh, I'm on live chat for once. Just drink straight out of the bottle. Um, here we go. Question 23. Which actress played both Maria Von Trapp in The Sound of Music and Mary Poppins in the 1964 film? Which actress played both of these characters, Maria in The Sound of Music and Mary Poppins in the 1964 Mary Poppins? Practically perfect, Jeremy. Partying for Gina's birthday. Thanks, Jeremy. I love it. Karen, I agree. Lily Tomlin's great. What a great character. Frankie. Poor Abigail. We still love you, Abigail. Yeah, we still love you. We just don't know what the hell you're typing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that some copy Ooh. pasta that I don't know about? Ooh, Jess, I want to hear more about this beer cellar slash see a picture of what's in there. <laughs> Amy Griffin, imagine my life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the shortcut. I get it. I understand. That's funny. I believe you. I completely do. The correct answer here is Julie Andrews. Over 70%. Cheers, everybody. Abigail, nobody, nobody is mad. We just didn't know what happened. <laughs> Number 24, according to uh, guidelines, uh, in the United States, bourbon whiskey, in order to be called bourbon, one of its many rules is that it must be comprised of at least what percentage corn? It can have more, but it has to have at least what percentage corn? You can only answer with numbers. So according to the guidelines, bourbon, in order to be called bourbon, has to have at least what percentage corn? Oh, Jess, that sounds delicious. We have to, we're gonna have to get together sometime and swap these beer cellars because I've got some good stuff that I'm looking to share. I don't like opening it by myself. I mean, even for two of us. What? We can open up something when we end trivia. Okay. A can of worms? <laughs> nah. Yeah, we I think I have a... I've been saving um, Bourbon County since 2014. And I have a 2014 prop. Um, but 24, all the standards from 2014. And I want to do a just crazy vertical. 2014 to 2019. 
um, and have some fun. Correct answer here is 51. It has to be at least 51% corn. It can be more, but it has to be at least 51%. Ooh, yes. Jess, I'm with you, and John. Yes, yes, yes. All right, number 25, symbolizing purity and renunciation. What is the sacred flower of the Buddhist religion? Oh, what a pretty question. Thank you. Symbolizing purity and renunciation, what is the sacred flower of the Buddhist religion? With the beer also in, of course, Jeremy. Not just the can. Some people do just sell and trade the cans. Everybody's in. Correct answer here is lotus the lotus flower 50 percent of you got that right congratulations everybody let's take a look at the standings once again team cream still just barely in first over the chatty angelica bitches steph curtis still in third everybody else see where you're at it's rotating through let me catch up on this chat there's a lot going on i know yeah, I've been I've been collecting. I don't do a lot of beer collecting. Um, I'm not a huge beer drinker. I just like a couple things and I always get them. I, I, uh, the Bourbon County and Backwoods Bastard. I stopped buying Founders altogether. I don't buy Founders beer anymore um, for many horrible reasons um, <laughs> on their part. Uh, but uh, I do have. The way of Goya. Yeah, they've gone the way of Goya. Is a good way of putting it. Um, <laughs> but I do still have some good Backwoods Bastard hanging around. Um, yeah, you've had that for a while. Yeah, it's in 2014 um, and 2015. Yes. Ja oh, this conversation is going to continue offline. Can't wait. All right, here we go. Just a couple questions left. Number 26, what was the name of Rocco's dog on Rocco's Modern Life? What was the name of Rocco's dog on the TV animated show Rocco's Modern Life? Ooh, nice, Jess. Dark Lord. Uh, Christiane, in Illinois, we don't. We don't get money for recycling cans, but I believe in Michigan they do. Um, like five cents, ten cents a bottle. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, that was a Seinfeld. That was a Seinfeld thing, too. Yeah. yeah, Newman and Kramer drove all the way to Michigan, I think, to recycle their cans or their bottles. Yeah, thanks, Chris. This was um, one of my first email addresses. Uh, so if you want to send me a message, uh, an email, you can still send a message to getdownspunky at gmail.com. Spunky, oh the correct answer. Uh, and that was what Rocco would have, get down spunky. Uh, that wasn't an Australian wallaby accent at all. Um, but Rocco had a spunky color. Yeah, that, yeah, we got it from uh, Box Lunch. Uh, all right, good job. Those of you that said spunky, 10 of you got that right. Uh, pork chop was Doug's dog on Doug. Um, number 27, I'm looking for a first and last name. This individual has gone on to other acting credits. Who was the host of the athletic competition show Nickelodeon Guts from 1992 to 1996? What is the name of the individual who hosted Nickelodeon Guts from 92 to 96? How dare you? You know I hate this word. The word guts makes me Oh, guts. I was like, his name? I don't, <laughs> why do you hate oh. his name? Rocco's yeah, name. there was an episode where he was on a phone sex line. Yeah, he's a phone oh sex God, operator. Yeah, they, they played it off so it was a little over kids' heads for the most part. But yeah, it was bad. Stephanie worked at a Hardee's in the 90s, had Rocco toys. Do you still have any? Because I'll take them. I'll, I'll buy them from you. Make some moolah. Sandy and Zach. Happy anniversary, Sandy Yay. and Zach. Thanks for being on here with Trivia, or at Trivia during your anniversary. Happy anniversary, Sandy and, happy, and Zach. So Sandy just commented on our post about how to comment in the trivia. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Uh, so this was not Mark Summers. Mark Summers hosted Double Dare and What Would You Do? Um, and then went on to uh, Unwrapped on the Food Network. 
Um, it wasn't Summer Sanders. She hosted Figure It Out. Uh, she was also an Olympic gold medalist swimmer. Uh, this one's really close. Uh, it is Mike O'Malley. Mike O'Malley. He went on to some other acting credits. I think he was on an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? And most recently, he was the, the doorkeeper on The Good Place. So I know some of you out there like The Good Place. He was the individual who had an uh, infatuation with frogs. Yeah. Uh, that was Michael Malley. He was uh, also on Parenthood and Glee. Parenthood, Glee. I just love my favorite thing. Let's toss it over to Mo. And then they had Moira. Moira, with yeah. the accent, <laughs> yeah. Like it was a real athletic competition. All right, number 28. What American rock band, or alternative rock band, was formed in Chicago in 1996 by vocalist Matt Skiba, bassist Rob Duran, and drummer Glenn Porter? What American rock band formed in Chicago in 96 by vocalist Matt Skiba, bassist Rob Duran, and drummer Glenn Porter? Seth, you think you have the pencil set? Yes! Oh, that's cool. That's incredible. Guts or Legends of the Hidden Temple? Mike O'Malley hosted Guts. Um, Legends of the Hidden Temple was Kurt. Um, I can't for the life of me picture the host of Legends of the Hidden Oh, yeah. His name was Kirk. Kirk. Fog, Kirk Fogg. It was like the first thing he ever hosted and the only thing he ever hosted. Um, I just watched a whole documentary on Legend of the Hidden Temple on YouTube. Um, Kirk Fogg, yeah, interesting guy. Amy loves this band. Of course you do. Yeah, have great music taste. Uh, Maggie, he was probably on Law & Order. Yeah, everybody did an episode of Law & Order. Albin, there is trivia tomorrow at 7. Seven o'clock, benefiting Leukemia Lymphoma Society. Oh, did you see Jess's comment? Yeah. Yes, we need to hang out, absolutely. Uh, the correct answer here is not Lucky Boy's Confusion. Good guess, Fall Out Boy, good guess. A little bit later, Dashboard Confessional. Uh, correct answer is Alkaline Trio. Yeah, I just didn't even. Oh, I love that, attention. yeah, <laughs> Alkaline Trio. Uh, Seven, you've got it right. So good job. Cheers, everybody. Uh, I don't know why we're choosing, but I need a drink. <laughs> Number 29, Francois-Marie Arrette is the real name of what French Enlightenment writer that lived in the 1700s. Francois-Marie Arrette <laughs> is the real name of what French Enlightenment writer that lived in the 1700s. Amy, that's incredible. First anniversary in Chicago seeing Alkaline Trio. Awesome. Stephanie, thanks for appreciating this gift. Anytime I can do a question about French, that can include this gift. Blah, 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 blah. blah. No, and I'm a pain bone. <laughs> ah, thank you to those of you who make me laugh about the holiday movie trivia because that <laughs> threw me for a trip. It's, it's been a while since something like that happened. Yeah, it's since Game of Thrones. Uh, the correct answer here is Voltaire. Voltaire. Uh, much better. Nom de plat. His pen name, real name Francois Maria Roudouet. Went by Voltaire, wouldn't you? Um, not Godot, not Tolstoy. Uh, pretty sure it was Bob. J'ai des flee. Good guess. John Locke, Jane Austen. Got nothing. Happy birthday, Gina. Remember when Joe Exotic was a great answer? <laughs> Remy from Ratatouille. Great guess. Uh, number 30. <sighs> Why did I do this to myself? Who is the lead singer of the band She and Him? Who is the lead singer of the band She and Him? I love, this is my favorite GIF, I think, on the internet. And that is what I look like when I do karaoke. Next up to the mic, I'll be big. <laughs> oh, you said you did look like her. You have the same amount of confidence. People are teaching me how to speak different languages tonight, but I, I'm not going to remember. And Francois, the final canton, sound e always solid. Yeah, I'm sure I messed it up. 
Who's ready for the new T-Swift album at 11 o'clock Central Time? Wait, uh, yeah, midnight Eastern Time, right? So soon. Uh, we'll find out on Wednesday for Ali Karaoke Bingo. Yeah, you got it, Chris. I forgot about that since there's no music bingo. Uh, so let's see all the different spellings we get here. That is the furthest from correct, but the one that is technically correct enough. S9 Fi Di Chanelli. I know what you were going for. I'm going to give you points. Um, this was a crossover between Women in Music and New Girl. I love it. Got two categories on this one. Very Zoe De Chanel. 69%. That's Chris P. Social. Cheers, everybody. All right, one question left. Here we go. I don't remember what it is. Uh, what famous novella by French aristocrat, writer, and aviator Antoine de saint exupéry was first published in 1943 and has since been translated into 301 language, languages and dialects? What is the name of the famous novella by Antoine de saint exupéry I hope I did better on that one. Oh, yeah, so... Husband's all-time favorite book. Oh. Aw. Yeah, this is one, just to prove that I do love Gina. She didn't ask for this one. This wasn't on your category list, but I knew that you would like it. This is your favorite book? Second favorite book? It's, Third? It's up there. It's up there. We're going to read it together. She liked <laughs> it, but she said it, it was I weird. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Wait. So two people individually typed Le Petit Prince Motherfuckers. Two people what? typed Le Petit Prince Motherfuckers. Two separate people. Uh, it Stop is. It. Yeah, look, you can see two. Le Petit Prince motherfuckers at you. Uh, little Prince is correct. Le Petit <laughs> Prince motherfuckers is correct. Let me Google that for you. Thank you. Little Prince, yes. Uh, the Vagina for Dummies? I don't know. Maybe. Don't Hate the Cream? <laughs> How to Cook a Cat? No. Uh, the correct answer is The Little Prince. Half of you got that right. Great job, everybody. Uh, so just put that. Somebody else put it. Um... You have to say Hermerfeuse. Uh, <laughs> thanks, sir. Hermerfeuse, motherfuckers. Uh, everything is done. That's all the questions. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. One more happy birthday to Gina. Thank you. Thanks for working on your birthday, being thanks here tonight. Everyone. Hanging this tight. Great. Um, thank you guys for all the love for Gina and for Big Tricks. We are going to reveal the final standings here in a second. Before we do, let me just remind you, tomorrow night, please, 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 if you've ever shown up for a fundraiser Friday night, make it tomorrow. This one means a lot to me. I enjoy raising money for LLS in conjunction with Justin's 99 Red Balloons and my very, very good friend Pat Fitzgerald will be doing this trivia night tomorrow at 7. Um, it, it's scheduled for at least 90 minutes. We're going to have a bunch of fun questions, a bunch of rounds, mini bonus rounds, picture rounds, all sorts of fun stuff and prizes. Um, not only for trivia, but then the raffle prizes as well. Lindsay, shoot me a message if you still haven't figured out the raffle tickets. I'll help you out with that. Um, but please do join us tomorrow at 7. Again, there's no ticket you have to buy. You can just show up. The links will be posted. Um, and then we're just going to ask uh, kindly for donations. So the, the links won't be down below for Bag of Tricks over there. Uh, the links will just be directly for LLS uh, to raise money to help research, uh, fund research for blood cancer. Um, to get rid of that shit. Let's get it out of here. All right, here we go. If you are in first place tonight, send us a message. Uh, let us know. Hey, thanks, Linda, for the donation. I just saw that. Linda, thank you so much. And happy birthday, Gina, she said. Uh, she wanted to celebrate you. Thank you, Linda. Uh, if you're in first place, shoot us a message. We'll get you hooked up with that Bella Rocca um, $25 gift card towards a facial or uh, $25 off a $50 purchase or more of skincare products. And trust me, it's worth it. Look at this beautiful glowing face here underneath all the hair. I promise it's great. Um, so shoot us a message if you're in first. We'll get you all set up. Here we go. Final standings. 
First place is the Chatty Angelica Betches. Uh, Team Cream in second, SF Curtis in third. Uh, everybody else rotating through. You guys did fantastic tonight. Um, 28 out of 31, 24 out of 31, uh, 28 out of 31. So Team Cream, I'm, I'm gonna stand in your corner here for a second uh, because if you answered less questions correctly but you had more points, that means you were answering quickly. Um, so I know people are, are quick to jump on the hating train, but if you had less questions correct, but you were still up there, you couldn't have cheated to, to earn more points in the multiple choice. You just have to answer quickly. So shout out, great job in second place there. Steph, great job in third. Chani Angelica, bitches, uh, you're local. Shoot us a message. She can hook you up with that Bella Rocca gift card tonight. Uh, please do join us tomorrow. Uh, Lindsay, I'll help you out. If not right now, I'll shoot you a message here soon and get you set up with the raffle. Um, but until then, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for uh, the happy birthdays. Thanks for loving Taco. He's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Uh, Misha, tell Maui we said hi. And everybody else, have a great night. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Wash your hands.